Hello, this is AI Thinker. Today we are going to learn how to use the NOET485 development board to implement the Motobus R2 protocol. Light sensor data collection. Let's find out first the basic concepts of this board and the Motobus R2 protocol. First, let's take a look at today's protagonist, AI Pi NOET485 Development Edition. This development version is based on Arduino NO expansion board, on board as a NET circuit, 485 interface and CH sensing, C serial port burning, ideal for all kinds of data collection and control, with a wealth of peripheral interfaces application of various sensors, etc. In this video we use a light sensor to demonstrate. Modbus R2. It is a commonly used industrial automation communication protocol. It defines the data exchange format between devices and communication rules. By using the Modbus R2 protocol, we can connect devices. Interoperability. AI Pioneer 88485 Development Board. It supports Modbus R2, recommended and supported leader, follower integration. This issue introduces the AI Pioneer 88485 Development Board. In mainframe mode, read light sensor device values for RS485 protocol. Display on screen. Here, we are using the screen of a small iPad LoRa board. The AI Pi LoRa board is based on the N expansion board for Arduino. It comes with a 1.9-inch RGB LCD screen and LoRa 1 module. Can meet the functions of LCD display and LoRa networking. RS485 light sensor, just put the A and B wires, just connect to the interface corresponding to AI Piano ET485, no need to collocate with AI Piano ET485, after that, it only needs power to work. AI Piano ET485 development board, will read the light intensity value of the light sensor in real time, and display it on the screen. and so on, similar to sensors commonly used in industrial homes, such as carbon dioxide sensors, smoke sensors, etc., can be used by our AI Piano ET485 development board, perform real-time monitoring. The above is the content of this video, about AI Piano ET485 development board. Presentation in slave mode, we'll save that for another issue. If you have any technical questions or business requirements, please feel free to contact us with a private message.